So this is an active isolated stretch for your pectorals. Okay, what I'm going to use, uh, <laughs> we're calling it a bookshelf, but you use anything that's a door frame, any corner, okay? And you'll see there's going to be two hand positions that you can use. So if you have hand above ear, what you're going to hit is upper fibres of your pectorals, pec minor. If you have your hand lower, you're going to be hitting lower fibres of the pectorals, okay? I would say if you push for time and you're only going to do one, do the higher one because I see pec minor indicating more conditions than lower fibres of uh, pec major ever, ever is. Okay, so I'm going to stand, so I'm square on to my to my thing, and I'm going to have one foot facing away, one foot facing towards, and then what I'm going to turn, and then I'm going to lean in, and I'm going to feel for the stretch in the pec. Okay, as I feel the stretch, I'm going to push into it, one, two, and then I'm going to come all the way out, so back to my start position. I'm going to go again, one, two, and all the way out. And I'm going to do this 10 times. Don't push into it for more than two seconds. One, two. You see a tendency of people at the gym and they're just really, really pushing like this. You're going to activate the stretch reflex and actually shorten your muscles. So it's two seconds. One, two, back out, 10 reps. One, two, both sides. Once you've done the upper, you can do the lower. Switch straight into it, one, two. You normally feel the stretch more across its tenderness attachment into the shoulder. And just keep going until you've done 10 each side. And then swap and do the other.